Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be sitting down and doing a first impression and a wear test on the newest launch from Revlon. This is their new Color Stay Light Cover Foundation, and I believe this is actually available exclusively on CVS. As of right now, I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I went online. I picked it up from there. It just got delivered, and I thought, you know, today's video would be kind of a nice cool down, a nice, you know, shorter, more chill video for us to just check it out, see if it's any good, how does it wear, coverage, all the good things. Obviously, we're going to go through it, break it down on the CVS website, pricing and all of that. If you're curious about today's video, if you want to see how this foundation wears, if it's good, if it's not, and all the good things, definitely stay tuned because we're going to be sliding into that here momentarily. But before we do that, of course, I want to stop, introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. Hello, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Again, if you are new here, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. Maybe you haven't heard yet. I, I, I don't know. I only say it once uh, once in a while. Definitely not in every single video. Um, but if you haven't heard, I am trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram. So if you uh, would take a second, go down in the description box. Everything is linked. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would go uh, follow me over there. Check it out. See if it's for you. Because on that platform, I am doing a ton of work. I say this all the time. But I really did decide, you know, when I, when I wanted to start asking you guys to follow me, I wanted to grow that platform. I, I decided in that moment that I was going to really start putting a lot more emphasis on it, really trying to not only grow it with you guys, but also grow it organically and produce content that people want to see and that people are interested in. Because of that, I have added a ton of new content over there, whether it is uh, plus size fashion, photography, you know, really getting into that, which I have had so much fun with, but also still making sure that I maintain the makeup end. I have makeup reels, makeup IGTV videos for application, mini makeup reviews, makeup inspo photos, and just, you know, all of that in the feed that kind of curates um, as I go through on the day-to-day. -day. I try to upload several times a week. And then let's just say maybe you're just looking for more of this, okay? More of like, <laughs> like page in the day-to-day -day life, you know, outside, behind the scenes, whatever. Um, I definitely still recommend Instagram because I hang out there in the Insta stories. I do um, unboxings in my office. We talk about stuff. We go for walks. That's where I ask you polls. I ask you, you know, questions, opinions, life stuff, whatever. That is where everything resides. Anyways, if all of that sounds like something that you're into, definitely go, um, you know, check me out. Everything, like I said, will be linked down below. And with that, let's go ahead. I'm going to scooch my booty in and we're going to get started on this foundation because I love a foundation review. <laughs> I saw this released on Trend Nude and I was like, oh, like I need to get it. I literally went on CVS. It was like 2 a.m. Gotta get it, gotta go. So uh, yeah, let's let's put the foundation on my face, okay, okay. All right guys, so now that we're good and scooched in, let's start talking about some details on this here foundation. Again, we have the Revlon Color Stay Light Cover Foundation, for those of you just tuning in. And uh, this one I did pick up, like I said, on CVS, retailing for $13.99. And the first thing that really struck me as odd, and I don't know if it's just like a CVS listing, I don't know if it's that it sold out. I, I really have no idea like what, what the deal is in terms of the shade range with this, but on their website, like as I'm actively looking at it, it is currently available in six shades. And I'm not exactly sure why that is because if I go back and pull up the Trend Mood page, which I just did here um, on, on this listing, it actually shows on their site that it's available in 12 shades and it has a picture of the arm, like the, the stock photo that shows the shade range. And so I'm not exactly sure why, why you only have or why I only have access to six of them. Maybe, like I said, maybe the other six sold out. I don't know. But uh, for today's video, I went with the lightest one they had available, which is 280 tall which is definitely, definitely going to be way too dark for me. On the website, as far as the description here, it says that this is an effortless long wear fluid foundation with buildable coverage that looks flawless and feels fresh for 12 hours. The lightweight liquid perfects just the right amount. It evens out complexions with a range of adaptable shades that disappear into most skin tones. It hydrates skin all day and protects with SPF 34, which by the way, the website says 34, the bottle says 35. So do I think that that one point is going to make a difference? No, because to get that protection, you'd have to put on like a quarter cup anyway. As far as the information goes on Trend Mood and on um, uh, the CVS website, I do think that that pretty much sums everything up. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this a nice shake and then we can obviously get into application because it is real thin. Listen. Like, do you hear how, that's like straight water. Okay, so it's good and shaken up here, shaken, <laughs> not stood. And let's just take a little gander. Actually, you know what? That color isn't awful. Is it? Yeah, you know, it's not that bad. It is, it is a little bit yellow, I, tw I twill admit, um, but it's not It's not awful. Now, if it oxidizes, I'm going to look like a pumpkin, but you know, that's fine. It's basically just after Halloween. It'll be fine. Hey! <laughs> Don't know what that was. Oh, it was my cell phone. Perfect. That's exactly what I was going to store that on the floor on my big toe. 
wow okay totally fine okay so I'm gonna start doing this side first with a sponge um, I was gonna do a brush first because I do think it'll work better in terms of absorption but I can't find <laughs> wherever I put it like it just it magically disappeared so we're gonna go ahead and use this little sponge first I think this is from ColourPop I want to say back when I did um, testing new ColourPop which I will link up here I did a full video I used all of their sponges and I believe if I don't miss my guess this is one of them which wow yo this foundation because it's so thin it just absorbed so much into that sponge okay so that pretty much answers that question I definitely think you're going to get a lighter application <laughs> with a sponge because it's, it's all in here um but let's go ahead I do want to try to build it up just a little bit with a sponge and see if that's an option because I know that some people myself included do prefer using a sponge just because a lot of times when you have more like cheek texture this can be the better route to go so I always like to see if you can build it up if it still works or if you need to build with a brush I know I gave it a lot of crap going into it but like look at this match it's not that bad it is a little bit darker you can see it on my neck right there but it's not as bad as it could have been so that's I mean that, that's a huge uh, plus and even if you look from one side to the other like it doesn't look drastically awful which is nice okay I'm not I'm not upset about that it's settling into the skin very very nicely like it has a very seamless finish I am getting a very light coverage you can see all of like this acne all of my cheek acne is still there uh, and at this point it really is just more so evening out like it said now for the other side I just went ahead and smoothed on some foundation and for this side I'm gonna use the it cosmetics velvet luxe 319 and just you know same thing stipple it on um and and really try to blend it but maintain that coverage a little bit all right so here is my one layer on with a brush my two layers on with a sponge and i do think that you get more coverage with a brush which again is to be expected because a lot of it absorbs into the sponge but i still want to check on the buildableness of this foundation so i'm just going to take a little bit more just like i did with the other side and blend it in see if that builds up at all just gonna try to build this side up a little bit to match the other for coverage with a brush okay so I'm just gonna go in now that I've built everything up and I am very lightly going to press over top of this area right through here like all over my nose because uh, I noticed with a brush it does look very stipply very streaky it just it doesn't re remain very smooth in that area and so I want to make sure that I get everything as good and smooth as possible. So really quick, I just wanted to zoom you guys in super close so you could kind of see what we're looking at in terms of coverage, texture, all the good things. Um, I think for me, the first thing that's really standing out with this foundation is actually how skin-like it really is, like the, the natural finish of it. Because I, obviously I know that that's what it's specced as, but for a lot of foundations I try that say, you know, they're more hydrating, they're going to give you that skin-like finish. On my skin, they always tend to pull a little bit more dewy, have a little bit more luminosity to them and I just think it's so interesting that with this one it really does like settle into your skin it doesn't leave any real finish it just looks very very natural and it just I don't know it's so interesting because even at the same time like while it's doing that while it's giving me that natural finish it is providing a very like blended in um like blurred kind of coverage because the coverage itself is very light I mean you can tell like over my more acne areas here there I'm definitely having a little bit of a breakout I have one up here you know just scarring and whatnot going on um so I'm not getting a lot of coverage on those specific areas but I think it's interesting to note that all of my other like my my normal redness you know the scarring from years past all of that does look kind of like oddly um blurred together or just you know lightly covered and it does it in a really really beautiful natural kind of way so I don't know I just wanted to zoom in give you guys a little shot of that and yeah now we can zoom out we can do some concealer we can move on with uh the situation because we got makeup to do now for a little concealer I'm just doing my usual shaping out the face as I always would and for that I am using my Boeing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit which this is in the shade 2 so they did send me this one because I ran out or I'm using this one because I ran out of the one that I did purchase and this is a concealer that I have been loving and using for quite some time. All right so I quite like the way that those oh <gasps> I didn't prime. Oh my god. You guys, I completely forgot to prime. Well, all right. Too bad. <laughs> I'm not going back now, okay? Do you see how far we've gotten? You know what? While I'm just trying to make myself feel better about completely forgetting how to do my job on here, wow. Um, I guess, though, if I had to pick a foundation to completely space out and not prime, this would definitely be that that foundation because this is a product. Like, it's, it's one of those ones that you can use as a foundation or you can, you know, put it on your hands, smear it all over, go out the door, you know, CC cream, light coverage kind of style. And a lot of people, if they're doing that, they wouldn't prime anyways. So, I mean, it's not... It's not like I did anything wrong. Okay, so next up for powder, 
I'm just gonna go in and set my under eyes and my t-zone just like I normally would and for that I am using the hourglass translucent veil setting powder all right and then to go on from there now that I have the under eyes and the t-zone set I am just gonna take a little bit of my um, it cosmetics light what is this uh, celebration foundation illumination press powder in the shade light I'm just gonna lean in and give you a little shot of how things are looking I actually think they look very nice um, between all of my products I'm at like a nice I would say medium solid medium coverage you can still see you know some of my redness from my acne coming through but overall it does look pretty good so at this point you guys I am gonna go ahead run off of camera I'm gonna do the rest of my face very light day today and I will stop back on at the end once everything has settled together setting spray you know just everything's really soaking into my face and we will uh, do a little check-in here and probably I would say maybe a half hour or so so hang tight and I will be right back all right beautiful people I am back the rest of my face is on and let's go ahead and start off first it's been about 45 minutes off of camera because obviously I did a little extra on the eyes but uh, I want to go ahead and start off first with the up close so you guys can see how this foundation is looking and the first thing that really uh, I, I kept noticing with this over and over again and I don't know how well it'll show up on camera but the first thing with me with this foundation that I noticed is actually as it's settling into my skin like around you know my mouth around that area that it does tend to settle in very very naturally in terms of my texture and that's something that I did want to touch on really briefly because I, I think it's important with a natural finish foundation like this one especially because it is so thin, so lightweight. The coverage is um, very, uh, very light, which, which also kind of adds to the settling aspect of it. Um, I think it's important to touch on with this kind of foundation that if we happen to see more texture, more pores, you know, up around the cheeks, around the mouth, the nose, that sort of thing, especially given that I forgot to use a primer, I think that that is to be expected in a lot of ways because, again, with this foundation, it is designed between, you know, the weight and, and the thinness and all of those things that I mentioned, it is designed to really settle into your skin, you know, give you a natural finish. And naturally, on my skin, I do have a lot of cracks, crevasses, bumps, texture, what have you. So I think for me, just kind of seeing that I wanted I wanted to point it out because I'm not mad about it I think it's kind of par for the course with something like this again given the viscosity given given the um the the settling of it like it's it's just really going to you know almost um go into your skin as opposed to sitting on the surface because it's so thin also really quick I wanted to run through um just a couple of other items that I am wearing on my face of course everything will be listed down below but just a couple little piddly pieces of information if and you're curious I am wearing the Ray Rider number three highlight from Kaleidos um, all over obviously the cheeks little forehead t-zone moment for that on the eyes I'm wearing the Catrice Insta Bay eyeshadow palette I'm wearing actually this gold right here all over the lid this brown through the crease and then this bright one on the inner corner just to brighten everything up um, as far as what did I use oh for blush I used my melt cosmetics that buzzkill blush that I've been using a ton lately loving that um, and I thought it would give just like a nice little kind of light brightness to the cheek for bronzer I am of course one guess okay my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer that is in the shade medium. Last but not least for my lips, I am actually wearing this by itself. I don't have on any liner, nothing like that, but this is the KKW Nude Number no. 7 Lip Gloss, and I think that that is pretty much everything. Again, anything I missed, I'll leave linked down below, but uh, yeah, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and run off of camera. I'm gonna put, put this in my pocket so I don't forget it, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run off of camera. Obviously, I'll stop back on at the end, and I will give you my final thoughts, so hang tight, and I will be back in a little bit. And all right, you guys, with that, it is officially the end of the day. Thank the Lord up above, because uh, I feel like today was just it was the most long ongoing like every minute felt like an hour just uh, it shrug on and on and truthfully the only highlight like the, the best part of my day was when I was over on Instagram which if you missed it I'm sorry I'm sorry you missed a good little time uh, but I was over on Instagram actually talking about the new ColourPop palette I got that in the mail I did some swatches we talked about it um, some scrunchies which I'm wearing one right now and then we also talked about some new stuff I picked up from Sydney Grace and just you know I, I went through all this new stuff anyways and that like little nugget of the day just really did carry me through like it gave me it gave me the oomph that I needed to just propel through the rest of the day um so for those of you that were over there and you hung out obviously it's in the insta stories but I just I want you to know I appreciate you because I need that time just as much as you guys need that time like I need the interaction the makeup the love the fun and there are just some days where I, I really wouldn't get through without you but anyways we're here to talk about foundation so let's just whoo, calm it down page really zero in here you guys know sometimes I just bunny trail right the hell away and you can't even find me like Paige where are you she's off in the woods bitch because she just got on that trail you can't find her again and that's how I am with my thoughts I just whew, I go away and it's just gone um so you know let's just 
focus is the moral of my story here. And uh, with this foundation, because, uh, you know, obviously that's why we're here, um, I have been wearing this for just over 10 hours, and boy, can you tell. Okay, that's where I'm going to start this. Um, so, you know, with that being said, just as kind of like a preemptive warning, but I'm going to go ahead and throw up the up close so you guys can take a look. Um, and I definitely think the main area of wear, which I'm really hoping, I tried to get a good shot of it, but right around the mouth, like through the T-zone, above my upper lip, y'all, <laughs> it is game over. I'm shocked I have any foundation left right there. It is so broken apart and so chunky um, on my upper lip, on my chin, my nose, like the whole bit's just looking some kind of, some kind of broken, okay? I think the thing to uh, note with this section, you know, given that it's broken apart and all of that, is that from the beginning, I didn't really expect this area to wear particularly well. And that's just because I am, like, I, I mean, I recognize that I'm combo leaning oily. The, uh, my T-zone is very oily, especially like nose, upper lip, chin, you know, that, that whole section just, you know, it does naturally get oily. And so with the foundation that's marketed to be a natural finish um, and to have that added hydration, I, like I said, I expected this because that makes sense. You know, naturally I become more oily. Ergo, this is going to, you know, be the case with this foundation as well. So I'm not necessarily um, mad about it. I definitely think it speaks to, you know, if you have an oily T-zone or oily areas, it's something to keep in mind. Um, but for me, something that I was, you know, on the flip to the positive side, I was actually pretty impressed with the fact that this foundation does spec itself out to have long-lasting hydration throughout the day. And my cheeks right through here actually do look very nice. Like, I, I obviously I have highlight on, but like right through here, it does look very nice and hydrated. And my skin doesn't look um, like the, the at the end of a long day, how sometimes, you know, it'll be almost like exhausted. You know how sometimes you just look in the mirror and you're just like, oh, like my, my skin's been through some shit. And I feel like today my, my skin doesn't look like that. It has a very nice, like fresh kind of feel to it. I can definitely feel like a light tackiness on it. I am getting transfer. Um, but again, all of that speaks to the fact that this does have that hydration kind of built into it. And so, you know, again, something to the positive is just that your skin really can, um, I, I feel like, noticeably see the difference from that prolonged hydration, which is definitely nice. I guess to round out my first impressions here, the first thing I would say is that um, if you're someone who has more like combo leaning oily or oily skin like I do, um, I don't know that this would be the foundation for you just in terms of like how it wears throughout the day. Again, that upper uh, creasing right there. Well, actually, it's not even just creasing. It's like it, it uh, quite literally separating away from itself. Um, so in terms of how this wears on oily skin, it doesn't look the best. My second thing I wanted to mention is that with this foundation, um, I don't know that I would actually recommend, like obviously, yes, you can build it. You can work it with concealers and powders. And I did it and it looks it looked nice. You know, I didn't have, like I said, any real issues there. But I don't know that for me, this is the direction I would take this foundation. And I say that because as I was applying it this morning, I noticed that it looked just so much, um, so much nicer, healthier, kind of as a lesser coverage, um, kind of like how people, you know, when you get up in the morning, you want just that light little overlay of some kind of smoothing coverage, like the, the BB cream squirted on, you know, do one of these and you're out the door. I feel like this actually looked better in that light with that level of healthy, glowy goodness, more so than it did today, um, you know, all done up like this, because I feel like as you build it up, you add the powders and you add the things on top of it. I do feel like that left it wide open for, um, you know, having these issues and having these cracklings and stuff like that. Whereas if you leave it in that natural state, I think you're going to get, you know, obviously, yes, lighter coverage and all of that. Um, but you're really going to have that nice, glowy, healthier looking skin. And I think with a product like this, that's probably more so what people are looking for anyways in that regard. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. I hope that this was helpful. I can't, uh, I can't think of anything else I wanted to add. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Of course, if there is anything I missed or anything else I want to, you know, throw in comment wise, I will leave that in the description box along with, you know, all of the makeup. If you want to check it out, all of it will be linked in there. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, I can't, can't think of anything. So I hope that you guys liked the video. Give me all of your thoughts and opinions. Were you curious about this? Did you, did you see it on trend mute? I'm almost done. Leave me alone for one second. Okay. I'm almost there. My phone just won't stop going off y'all. It's been one of those days. Anyways, as I was saying, let me know what your thoughts on the video are, the foundation. Were you curious? Yada, yada, yada. Do we just love testing out foundations? Cause I do. Uh, yeah, just leave, leave it all down in the comments. And as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really appreciate. We can hang out like we did today. But I think that that is everything. Thank you guys also so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs>
I just took my chair and I bashed it into my whole setup right here. Almost came tippy tumbling down on me. Would have been really bad. Why did I just sing that whole thing? Paige, I don't, why do you do anything? I don't know. Okay, I can't answer. These are really hard questions. I'm really tired. It's super early. Ugh. Stop it.